Good afternoon, my name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. And thank you so much for your interest in our absolutely gorgeous 2020 E450 Cabriolet. Now looking at this vehicle, you can see it's a beautiful Designo diamond white metallic color. Underneath the hood, we have a three liter bi-turbo V6 engine. This vehicle comes equipped with the exterior lighting package, which includes the LED multi-beam intelligent lighting system. This allows the front headlights to scan the road in front of you and illuminate different areas as you're driving around corners. Looking at the front, you can see this vehicle also has the AMG styling package. This includes a more aggressive looking front grille, AMG rims, and a few AMG styling features on the rear end of the vehicle. Moving around to the side, first we'll take a look at the beautiful 19 inch split spoke AMG rims. Moving back to the side view mirror, both side view mirrors are auto folding, auto dimming. And if you look in the bottom corner there, you'll see a little triangle. That's gonna light up red when a vehicle's in your blind spot. This vehicle also has the keyless go package, which allows you to lock and unlock the door by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle with the key in your pocket. That's gonna work on both front doors as well as the trunk. Now moving around to the rear end, first we'll take a look at the beautiful taillights on this vehicle. These taillights include the stardust effect that wraps around all the way from end to end, giving an absolutely beautiful design to that taillight. Moving back and taking a look at the full rear end, you'll see we have dual exhaust pipes down below, as well as a few of those AMG styling features I mentioned earlier. This vehicle has a fold out backup camera that comes out of this Mercedes-Benz Star automatically when you put the vehicle in reverse. That's gonna fold back down when you put the vehicle in park or drive, keeping that camera lens clean. This vehicle also has the parking assistance package with surround view system. This includes three more cameras, both on the side view mirrors and one on the grill. That's gonna to piece together a top-down surround view of your vehicle while you're parking. To open up the trunk, simply push up the Mercedes-Benz Star and it will pop open for you. We'll take a look inside here to show you the cargo space that we have in the back. Now, with the top up, you do gain a little bit of extra storage space when you press this button here. As you'll see, it lifts up and down this small divider inside the trunk, giving you a little bit extra space. And again, that is only available when you have the top up. You also have a little bit of extra storage space when you lift up this little door here. If you need to fold down the rear seats for a pass-through from the cargo area to the cabin of the vehicle, you can do so by flipping this switch here and this switch here. Closing the trunk, we'll move around to the passenger side of the vehicle, where I'll open up the passenger door to show you the absolutely beautiful macchiato beige on yacht blue leather interior. Now, one more cool little feature I wanna show you from outside the vehicle. With the key fob, you can actually open and close the top of the vehicle by pressing a few buttons on the key fob. Now first, with the top down as it is, all you have to do is simply press and hold the lock button. And as you can see, that top will automatically fold up for you. Now with the top all the way up, all you have to do is simply press and hold the unlock button and that top will again automatically fold down.
Now moving inside the vehicle. First, I'm gonna show you how to operate the roof from inside the vehicle. Now, as you can see, we have a few switches here. First, we'll look at this switch. What this switch does is open and close the wind deflector in the back. Now, looking between the headrest and the back seat, you can see there is a little wind deflector there. You can raise and lower that right from this switch. Next to that, we have a switch here. That is going to operate all four windows at once. So you can raise and lower all four windows simply by pushing and pulling this switch here. And finally, we have this switch that's going to actually fold open and fold close the roof. Now, as you can see, it's open right now. So simply press down on that switch and that roof is going to fold closed automatically. Now with all of the windows closed, this vehicle has the triple sealed doors and windows, so you are very insulated in here. Not a lot of noise inside the vehicle with that roof closed. Next, we'll take a look at the absolutely beautiful 64 color ambient lighting inside this vehicle. Now that's gonna show up underneath the creases in the trim on the dashboard. As you can see, that flows right into the door panel. It's gonna show up inside the climate vents. It shows up in the creases of the trim on the center console. It'll show up in the footwells, even in the footwells and trim on the back seat. Now first I'll show you the space that we have inside the center console here. You have a little bit of room in there. You have two USB ports to connect to your mobile devices. Moving forward, we have the control panel for this vehicle. Now you have two different ways of controlling the infotainment system right from this control panel. You have a touch pad right here. Simply swipe up and down left or right on that touch pad to control all of your different settings. In front of that, we have a little dial here. You can turn that left or right, bump it up, down, left or right. On the right side, we have our volume here, as well as an on off button for that infotainment system. The left side, we have a few buttons. Now this vehicle has the airmatic suspension, which allows you to raise and lower the vehicle, which you can do right from this button here. Underneath that, we have our Parktronic or our parking system. That gives you access to the parking assistance package, which parks the vehicle for you. It can pull in, back in, and parallel park into any spot for you. This gives you access to all of the different camera views that you have with the surround view system. And as you can see here, we have our top-down surround view. Just below that, we have a button for the automatic start-stop that stops the engine when you come to a complete stop at a stoplight or stop sign and turns the engine back on when you take your foot off the brake. Looking up, we have a little compartment in here. That's where you're going to find your two front cup holders in this vehicle. You also have a wireless charging pad in here where you can place your phone and wirelessly charge it as you drive. Just to the right of that, you have a little USB port. That's gonna give you access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which comes with this vehicle. Closing that, we'll move up to the quick menu buttons. If you don't want to swipe on the touchpad or turn the dial, you can simply go to any of these following menus simply by pressing the button. Moving up, we have our climate control settings. There are two zones in this vehicle, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. Moving over to this steering wheel. Now on the steering wheels right side here, we have a little square. That's actually a touch pad that you can use to control the infotainment system without taking your hand off the steering wheel. Just below that, we have a few switches, one to answer and hang up phone calls, one for your volume, and one to manually activate the voice command feature in this vehicle. Looking on the left side, you can see we have another touchpad on the left side of the steering wheel. This allows you to change the information displayed inside the gauge cluster screen. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of different information that you can have displayed inside of either gauge as well as in between the two gauges. Just below that, you'll see your cruise control settings. Now this vehicle has the driver assistance package which comes with radar cruise control as well as steering assist, lane keep assist, and a bunch of other 
really cool driver assistance features. You can set the following distance between you and the vehicle in front of you with this little knob here. So when you approach the vehicle in front of you while you have your cruise control engaged, it will slow down and follow that car in front of you at whichever distance you decide. Moving to the left side of the steering column, you can see we have a little knob here that's going to allow you to control the telescoping steering wheel. On the end of this switch, you can see there's also this little switch here that's gonna turn on and off your heated steering wheel. Now to the left of that on the panel here, on the dashboard, we have a few buttons. These are going to turn on and off your steering assist, your lane keep assist, your parking sensors, and the heads up display in this vehicle. Moving over to the door panel, we have a few switches right here. Those are going to change your seat position. You also have three different memory settings for three different preset seat positions. Just above that, we have our heated seat and cooled seat buttons. As you can see, you have three different settings of intensity for both. And last, we have this button right here. That's going to turn on the air scarf feature in this vehicle. What that does is actually blow air right at the back of your neck. That's gonna keep you warmer with the top down on cooler days or cooler nights, especially in New England. This is a very useful feature. Looking at the trim of this vehicle, you can see this vehicle has the beautiful natural grain, light brown Elmwood trim. And inside of that trim, looking back at the door panel, you can see this vehicle also has the brilliant Burmester premium audio system. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly at 603-792-2479. You can also email me at a-l-u-n-t at driveprime.com.